GMB TV. Yeah, like, come on, follow me. Let's see what we got. Listen closely if you trying to eat. Get passive income, got that money flowing in my sleep. Young and please, got 30,000 on my wrist, 10 on my fist. That 18 around my neck, make I can show respect. You looking at a guard, exhorting no fears. About five in each ear, that's what you want to hear. VA, let Remember what I told you, right? Yeah. What I said? It's grown man business. It's grown man business. I mean, it is what it is, and it'll be what it's going to be at all times, my Gs, at all times. And we all see what's going down with Adam Scott. We all see what's transpiring with Adam Scott. And I mean, it gets deep, it gets wicked, and it's always deep in the rap. When you scratching the surface, and here at Grown Man Business TV, we are definitely scratching the surface. Now, I want to give a big salute to all my day one investors in the DMs saying Big G and BTV, the Oracle, and don't you forget the TV. And you better always remember the Oracle. What is your perspective on the situation that's going down with Adam Scott? What are your thoughts exactly, Big G and BTV, on what's going down with Adam Scott? And I gotta say, my Gs, it is absolutely disgusting work. It is absolutely disgusting work. Now listen, recently I'm on YouTube, I'm surfing through, and I end up on Kwame Brown's live. You understand me? And he's talking about a guy by the name of Adam Scott. Now listen, first and foremost, I have to say, I respectfully disagree with almost everything that Kwame Brown said on this live. But that didn't take my focus off of Adam Scott. Now, who exactly is Adam Scott? Adam Scott is a Caucasian male that was speaking very, you know, openly about how he feels about black Americans. You understand me? Yeah, the foundational black American. And I'm not even going to try to repeat or try to break down what he said. I'm not going to make this a long video. Definitely not going to make this a long video. But you already know how we do over here at Grown Man Business TV, right? We're going to get into these clips. We're going to double back and we're going to get deeper into this angle, my G. We're going to get into these clips. We're going to double back and we're going to get deeper into this angle. Gang. Uh, you disagree or agree with the statement, it's okay to be white. 26% of blacks said uh, no. It's not okay to be white. 21% weren't sure. Add them together, that is 47% of black respondents were not willing to say it's okay to be white. Did you have any idea? <laughs> as you know, I've been identifying as black for a while, years now. As you know, I've been identifying as black for a while, years now. What? Because I like, you know, I like to be on the winning team. Because I like, you know, I like to be on the winning team and I like to help. And I, I always thought, well, if you help the black community. And I, I always thought, well, if you help the black community. What? That's sort of the biggest lever. You know, you could, you can find, you know, you could, you can find the, the biggest benefit. So I'd like to focus a lot of my life resources in helping black Americans. So much so that I started identifying as black. So much so that I started identifying as black. What? To just be on the team I was helping. But it turns out that nearly half of that team uh, doesn't think I'm okay to be white. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, of course, why I identified as black, just so I could be on the winning team for a while. Which is, of course, why I identified as black, just so I could be on the winning team for a while. What? But as of today, I'm going to re-identify as white. But as of today, I'm going to re-identify as white. Because <laughs> I don't want to be a member of a hate group. So if, if you know, nearly half of all blacks are not okay with white people, according to this poll, oh, that's a hate group. And I would say the best advice I would give to white people is to get the hell away from black people. To get the hell away from black people. Just get the fuck away. Where, wherever you have to go, just get away. Because there's no fixing this. Because there's no fixing this. 
this can't be fixed. You just have to escape. I went to a neighborhood where, you know, I have a very low black population. So I, I think it makes no sense whatsoever as a uh, white citizen of America, uh, white citizen of America, to try to help black citizens anymore. It doesn't make sense. It's, it's no longer a rational impulse. And so I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to back off from being helpful to black America because it doesn't seem like it pays off. What? Like I've been doing it all my life and I've been, the only outcome is I, be, I get called a racist. That's the only outcome. It makes no sense to help black Americans if you're white. Damn! It's over. Don't, don't even think it's worth trying. Now we should be friendly. Like I'm not saying start a war or you know, start a war or you know, do anything bad, nothing like that. I'm just saying get away. Just get away. If anybody in the black community focuses on education, they'll do well as well. The system allows that. If they don't, it's just not my problem anymore. So I resigned. I resigned from the hate group called Black Americans. 46% of them don't think white people are okay. Just being white. And there we go. Oh, that's what I'm talking about, my G's. I mean, do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? It gets deep, it gets wicked, and it's always deeper than rap. When you scratching the surface, and here at Grown Man Business TV, we are definitely scratching the surface. Now, y'all got an earful, right? I'm sure you also got an eye full of those clips. I mean, it is what it is, and it'll be what it's going to be. But Adam Scott, you got some explaining to do, my boy. You most definitely got some explaining to do. I mean, it is disgusting work, my G's. Absolutely disgusting work just to see how delusional Adam Scott really is. Now listen, one thing for sure, two things for certain. He's not the only one that feels this way. He's not the only one that thinks like this. He's just the only one with enough cojones to say what's on his mind. Enough balls to say how he really feels. Now if you listen to Adam Scott, he said one of his life's works is to help black people. I mean, one of the most important things in his life is to help black folks. I mean, he wants to help black people so bad, my G's, that he identifies as a black man. You know, this upper in age Caucasian male identifies as a black man. I mean, that's deep, right? That's that's wicked, right? It is what it is and it'll be what it's going to be. But he said out of his own mouth, he identifies as black because he wants to be a part of the winning team. Now, let me ask Adam Scott this question. If you want to be a part of the winning team, why would we need your help? If we are the winning team that you say we are, why would we need your help, Adam Scott? I mean, I'm sorry to break this news to you, but I got to let you know, Adam Scott, we never needed Caucasians help. Us black folks never needed y'all's help. Actually, y'all helping us only led us to the grave. Y'all helping us only led us off the cliff. Y'all helping us only landed us incarcerated. Y'all helping us, Adam Scott, only landed us on government assistance all the way up in them project buildings, Adam Scott. I mean, it is what it is and it'll be what it's gonna be. But see, without y'all's help, we was building generational wealth. You know, Rosewood, you understand me? Black Wall Street. We had hundreds of communities all over the US before you guys started helping us. And when you guys started helping us, intimate domain played a part in that. You know, coming in, turning our communities into, you know, national lakes and national parks. And you know what I'm talking about. It is what it is and it'll be what it's gonna be. But my people never needed the help of your people. See, one thing for sure, two things for certain, that was the downfall of black people. The downfall of black people was integrating with your people. And not only integrating with your people, but accepting help from your people. You know, medical help, financial help, you know, spiritual help. All of these different realms that you guys seem to help us in only led us off the cliff. Only led us into the grave. 
It is what it is and it'll be what it's gonna be. Now, it's a multiple different angles that you know Adam Scott was speaking on. Let me let me get on to another one. Adam Scott said out of his own mouth, you know, these situations between white and black people cannot be fixed. And he suggests that all white people move away, move as far away from black people as you can. See, that's something I can agree with. That's something I can agree with, Adam Scott. Now, let me break this down for you. In that book, in that Bible that y'all preach, right? It says that the kids shall reap the sins of the parents. The children shall reap the sins of the parents, Adam Scott. Now, let me break that down to you. Your ancestors enslaved my ancestors. Your ancestors did some horrific things to my ancestors and nobody has paid the price. So when your ancestors passed away, they passed them sins down to their children and to their children's children and so on, so forth. That's why you guys feel like it's some kind of tension between black and white. You know, you guys try to be nice and say, hey, we had nothing to do with that. That was our ancestors. But y'all reap the benefits of the horrific things your ancestors did to mine. So because y'all reap the benefits, y'all reap the sins. Let's see, one thing for sure, two things for certain. My people aren't like your people, Adam Scott, because your people want blood. Your people taste blood. Y'all want war. And if we were anything like you guys, we would want war. All we want is what's rightfully owed to us. You know that 40 acres in a mule? You understand me? You know that intimate domain that y'all played on our communities and y'all buried all of our cities, all of our generational wealth, single family homes? Yeah, we had hundreds and thousands of single family homes that y'all flooded out and turned into lakes. You know, Central Park out there in New York City used to be called Eucidica. But follow me. We never needed your help. All we needed is segregation, our own area. So, so until y'all pay the price if it's in blood or if it's financial however y'all pay the price it has to be paid and until until the price is paid y'all gonna feel that tension it don't matter how nice y'all are it don't matter how many awards y'all give us it don't matter those sins have to be paid for adam scott so, so you got to understand, my, my G's, that Adam Scott said that he identifies as a, as a black man because he wants to be close to the winning team. One thing for sure, two things for certain, we always been the winning team. Yeah, we always been the Golden State Warriors. Add LeBron James and KD to the squad. We've been like that. We've been like that. So much that these guys always wanted to be us. They want our noses. They want our lips. They want to identify Huh? Is what it is And it'll be what it's gonna be But but I didn't agree with Kwame Brown On this particular live You know, shout out to Kwame Brown But I didn't agree with him We don't need them, Kwame We actually need them to back up Give us what's owed to us And back up Back all the way up Get out the way Get out the way You wanna see this earth ran the right way? You wanna see nature and everything else around that Ran the right way? Give us what you owe us, our 40 acres and that mule. In, in today's time, it'll be a nice John Deere tractor. Let us get that. Huh? Let us get those acres. Let us get that, that, that reparations. Let us get everything that's owed to us, and we can show y'all how to do this, son. We can show y'all how to run this earth without tearing it down. We can show y'all how to run this earth without killing it. Let us show y'all how to do this, son. It is what it is, and it'll be what it's going to be. But I told some of my day one subscribers I was going to double back on Adam Scott. Adam Scott is a white man that identifies as a black man. <laughs> Go figure. Your ancestors are turning in their graves, my G, at the thought of a white man, a white man identifying as a black man. Yeah, 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 it is what it is And it'll be what it's gonna be But Adam Scott, this is God's work Gang GMB TV Yeah, but come on, follow me Let's see what we got Listen closely if you trying to eat Get passive income, got that money flowing in my sleep Young and please Got 30,000 on my wrist 10 on my fist That 18 around my neck Make I can show respect You looking at a God exhorting no fears about five in each ear, that's what you want to hear. VA, remember what I told you, right? Yeah, what I say? 
Mexico man business. It's grown man business. 